Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Physics and Animation. Today we are back with a new video in the series of Electromagnetic Induction. So today we are going to learn that how does an AC generator works. So let's begin. What is an AC generator? An AC generator is a machine that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. The output is an alternating electrical power in the form of alternating voltage and current. Where alternating refers to continuous and periodic changes in direction and magnitude. Let's start with basic construction and working of an AC generator. First, let's consider a rectangular loop of the coil ABCD kept in a magnetic field and free to rotate about its axis. The direction of a magnetic field is from the north pole to the south pole. When we rotate it with the help of any external means, the magnetic flux passing through the rectangular loop of the coil changes. Therefore, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, EMF induces in it. As it is a closed loop, due to this current flows in a coil. To find the direction of the current in the coil, observe arm AB of the coil. In the arm AB, if we apply the right hand Fleming's rule, in which the forefinger indicates the direction of a magnetic field, the thumb points in the direction of force acting on the coil, which is upward in this case. Then, the middle finger will indicate the direction of the current induced flowing from point A to point B. Ok, now the same arm AB of the coil rotates and moves downward from the other side. Now let's again find the direction of induced current with the help of the right hand Fleming's rule, in which the forefinger points in the direction of the magnetic field the thumb opens in the direction of force acting on the coil which is downward this time. Then surprisingly, direction of the current induced indicated by the middle finger is from point B to A, which is opposite from the case when arm AB was moving upward. A similar thing also occurs with the arm CD of the coil. Thus, after every 180 degrees, or half of the complete rotation of the coil. The direction of induced current in the arm AB and CD of the coil reverses. So, now we are changing EMF and current, whose direction reverses after every half of the rotation. But the question arises, how can we use this alternating current without interfering with the rotation of the coil? To use this alternating current, let's break this loop and connect it with the output circuit to which the load is connected. If we rotate the coil, we will get an alternating current flowing from the load. One necessary condition to get alternating current is that there should be continuous contact between the output circuit and the rotating coil with the arm AB and CD. But with this arrangement, when we rotate the coil, twisting occurs and resists the rotation of the coil. To resolve this problem, we use a slip ring S1 which ensures continuous contact of the output circuit wire with the arm AB of the coil. Because now the arm AB is in touch with the slip ring S1. Therefore, if we rotate the coil, Slip ring also rotates while the output circuit wire slips over the slip ring and will ensure continuous contact of the output circuit wire with arm AB of the coil without any twisting. A similar slip ring S2 helps to ensure continuous contact of the arm CD of the rotating coil with the output circuit wire without any twisting. Now, if we rotate the coil, there will be a continuous contact between the rotating arms of the coil with the output circuit. And now we can turn the coil without any restriction. 
even maintaining the connection between the output circuit and the rotating ring. Therefore, slip rings can be defined as electromechanical device that allows the transmission of electrical power and electrical signals between a stationary and a rotating circuit. But still, it is not easy to get in perfect contact between a simple wire and a rotating slip rings. That's why we use the fixed carbon brushes B1 and B2 made of graphite on which slip rings slides to ensure perfect contact with a rotating coil. In this way, carbon brushes permit the flow of electricity and complete a circuit. Where spring force pushes carbon brushes against the slip rings and ensures smooth and perfect contact between the slip rings and carbon brushes. Therefore, carbon brushes can be defined as a device that provides electrical contact which conduct current between stationary wires and moving parts most commonly in a rotating shaft. As it is made of graphite which have lubricating property. Due to this, it also reduces friction at the contact. In this way, we have created a simple AC generator that generates an electric current whose direction reverses in every half of the complete rotation and produces alternating current. So that's all for this video. In the upcoming videos, we will talk about derivation and mathematical aspect of AC generator. Thanks for watching friends. If this video really helped you, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And also press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video.